third book of John, 1 and 11, um, and also the second book of John, 1, 5 through 6. Third John says, Dear friend, don't let this bad example influence you. Follow only what is good. Remember that those who do good prove that they are God's children, and those who do evil prove that they do not know God. And Second John 1, 5 through 6 says, I am writing to remind you, dear friends, that we should love one another. This is not a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Love means doing what God has commanded us, and he has commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. And today, I am just, I'm just most grateful for, for God's love and God's favor. Just this, this, just this reminder, you know, um, it, it, the, the other 10 commandments don't even really matter. You know, like that's why, they, that's why the, the writer says that, yeah, you know, God commanded us to love. Because once you love one another, like, everything else just falls into line. And sometimes it gets hard, you know, because people will do certain things to you or you feel hurt or you feel broken. Or sometimes it's just the world becomes so cold around you that it makes it hard for you to love. But that's something that we always have to look towards God for because we have, he's our strength, he's our rock, he's our provider. But most importantly, we are connected to him, you know, and the breeze and how we are connected to him through the Holy Spirit. It, it, it shows us that like we we already have this seed of love planted in us, you know, and that's why the author tells us in this one particular part, right, where he says that, and those who do evil prove that they don't know God, because like you, like God ain't gonna never do nothing evil, period. Every single thing that he does is going to be out of love. Like every single thing, you know, no matter how bad the circumstance it is, you know, sometimes one is have to hurt to save a thousand. And only God could understand that. Like it don't make sense to us, you know, when we lose a loved one, you know, when we lose a job, when we lose, when we, and anything that happens around us that we think is like life crushing and devastating, it all has some impact on someone else, you know, like I, I've been witnessing to so many people this week and it just came out of nowhere, you know? And so whatever circumstance it is, and if I had to sacrifice for it just for God to get his point across, then that's just how it is. That's just, it's, it's when you understand that, that we have a greater purpose. And when we understand that our greater purpose always gonna involve love. So no matter what we do, we have to go out there and we have to show love and we have to pay it forward and we have to we have to give God an opportunity to sh to love to show love to others through us. So thank you again, Nikita. Didn't want to take up too much time. I I woke up a bit late, but I promise I'll try to be early tomorrow. Um, thank you everyone for giving me the opportunity to speak to you and to listen to me this morning. And I love each and every one of you. Who carry an electric man like.